Today is Monday, August 8th, and we are approaching the fall season. And right now, we're starting to think differently about how we strategically crop our beds and how we continue to plant. I'm gonna talk about a few strategies that I'm looking at right now and how I can keep my production strong until the fall and even in the winter. That's coming up next on The Urban Farmer. Right now we're at sort of a pinch point. We had some problems with some of our lettuce transplants when it was really, really hot. It still actually is very hot. Um, and that has caused us to have a little bit of shortage in our lettuce production. And so I just wanted to talk to you guys about how I'm going to approach this going forward into August and September. So. We have lettuce at two plots this year. We did that intentionally because one of the plots that we had been planting lettuce had a really bad slug problem because it has really heavy soil and we'd had a wet, wetter than normal summer. So we decided to not put any lettuce at that plot any further. We have it at this plot and our Lawrence Avenue plot that has very sandy soil. That plot is 10 out of 12 beds there are lettuce. And right now at that plot there is we just cut a little bit that was the last cut from some beds that we're now pulling out, pulling out and turning over. And so I don't have any more lettuce from that plot, at least for another, I would say, 10 days. And we planted lettuce at our bi-rotation plot a week, a week and a half ago, and it still won't be ready for another, I would say, three weeks, 21 days, maybe 24 days. It's, it's hard to get it exact, but I'm, I'm thinking that's, that's kind of where it's at. So right now I've got a, cha a problem where for this week of my lettuce, all I have is what we cut today, which was 21 pounds, and these two 50 foot beds. If I were to cut these right now, I probably wouldn't, I would probably only get 50 pounds total, uh, maybe 20 pounds from each bed, because they're not quite as ready as they could be. And I only have 21 pounds of lettuce for my early week orders and that is probably not enough. I think I need at least 50 pounds, probably 60 to 80 pounds of spring mix for sales early this week. So what am I gonna do? Well, the beauty about growing salad mix is that you've got optionality. And right now I'm producing a lot of arugula. I've got one bed here that will yield me, I'm, I'm thinking 40 pounds. I've got, another bed at the other plot that I'll probably get the same and we just cut about 15 pounds of arugula from the other from one of our other plots so basically what's going to happen this week is our salad mix is going to have a little bit more arugula in it and for our restaurant customers they like that so it's not a big deal going forward into the next week um, these beds, these should be ready for another cut in 10 days. And the main plot, or the dry rotation plot where we planted a bunch of lettuce uh, uh, 10 days ago, that's still three weeks away. So basically what's gonna be happening for the next week or two is that we're gonna be supplementing our salad mix with a lot of other greens. We've got arugula, we've got some new red Russian kale beds coming online. And we've got some beet greens in my front yard at this plot here. And so the salad mix at this point is gonna go down to probably 50% lettuce. The other is going to be auxiliary greens, being arugula, red Russian kale, baby beet greens. And there is some mustard in there, but not that much. So that's kind of my strategy on how I'm going to get through the next couple weeks until that new patch of lettuce comes online and so if you guys have been following my vlogs and even my weekly updates that I was doing earlier in the season you'll notice that um, or you'll remember that early in the season it's actually very similar at, at, at the, the first types of greens that I'm harvesting being the late winter like say 
mid-March into early spring, like early April, the salad mix has very little lettuce and it's mostly auxiliary greens. As we get into summer, the salad mix becomes 80% lettuce and then the rest is auxiliary greens. And then, um, but for the, for the most, and then there are periods like now where I'm short and then I can revert back to the same. I can supplement the salad mix with other greens that I have in the field. The beautiful thing about having other types of greens in your salad mix, especially things like red Russian kale, arugula, and mustard greens, or even beet greens in the summer, is that all four of those greens are 21 days to maturity. Mustard is even, and red Russian kale are sometimes 18 days to maturity in the summer. So if you have the foresight to notice that you're gonna be short on lettuce, you can start, you can get out in the field and start planting more arugula and red Russian kale and mustard greens or baby beet greens right away. And that's exactly what we did on Friday. We planted two beds of arugula here. We planted, we planted more at the, at the biorotation plot. And so I'm basically buying time until my big lettuce com crop comes on. So I hope you guys have found that helpful. That's kind of like my thinking for this week, this, this, for the, the early part of this week is I need to, get by, I need to squeak by. So in reality, I might be shorting a little bit. So if I, some customers of mine are ordering four boxes, 10, 10 pound boxes of greens twice a week. So it means that I might be sending them three instead of four. Hopefully, I'll be able to continue to give them everything they need. And one thing I also wanna to talk to you guys about briefly is another way you can supplement your greens this is something that is generally better used in the winter, but it can work in the summer like now, is you can actually add sunflower shoots and pea shoots or other types of microgreens to your salad mix. Of course, you have to be good at this enough that you can afford to put something like this in a salad mix that you're selling at eight to $10 a pound, uh, because if you're getting low yields on your flats, then there's no way that that's economical. But I'm pulling right now one and a half pounds of sunflower shoots per flat. So if I, if I was in a real bind and I wanted to react really quickly, then I could start planting more sun shoots right now with the plan of supplementing that into my salad mix. Of course, your customers have to be comfortable with that and, and, and be open to you putting that stuff in. And if they are, then, then you can. If not, you probably have to figure something else out and just go with the auxiliary greens. So hope that helps you guys. These are my thoughts for today. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button right now. Like and share these videos with your friends. And if you want to make a donation to the show, it's much appreciated and always welcome. You can do that at theurbanfarmer.co slash support. And you guys should check out my new one day workshop that is up. You can check it out on my website, theurbanfarmer.co slash book. And in there you'll see profitable urban farming one day. I've got a discount code below, $50 off for anybody who wants to take this now from now between September 4th. All right guys, we'll see you soon.